All right, everybody, welcome back. David Finch here, uh, working in the shop, and uh, I guess I'm gonna say I, I didn't necessarily come up with this idea. I had always wanted to make one, and uh, the simplicity of this I'm taking off of uh, Jody over uh, over on Jody's channel. Um, what is it now? Weld Moggers' website. WeldingTipsAndTricks.com, uh, or that's his his YouTube channel, and uh, I always wanted to make a bending fixture so that I could uh, do some destructive bend tests, face bends, root bends, side bends on some of the welds, and just kind of another way instead of other than just an acid etch to show if your weld can really hold up, and uh, so in doing that. I was always looking at your traditional, I mean, I know in school we had this huge block, just massive thing, I don't know how much it weighed for our bottom die and then for the top die that plunged into it. Well, I was sitting there just like, oh, if I was going to do that, the best thing I could do is probably maybe buy an entire sheet of quarter inch steel, which is, I don't know, $350, $400, and just cut the same pattern out and do a composite of it and you know a bunch of quarter inch sheets and weld it together and do that well Jody showed something on his channel and I was just like I know what I think I happen to have some one and a half inch round stock so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make this out of some round stock it's gonna be very rudimentary like I say it's just it's, it's for purposes that for me really and for something to show you guys so it's not like this is gonna be at a testing facility for uh, super critical blah 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 so let's just show you the material uh, I'll go over a rough idea of what's the dimensions and then we'll start cutting and fitting it up from there all right so like I said I already had some one and a half inch round stock it's been sitting outside so a little bit of surface rust on there no big deal there though that'll if it even comes into play it'll polish right off no big deal. Like I said. But uh, so what I was going to do is most of the time when you do a bend test, uh, you you don't really have a really wide piece. Uh, in fact, if you look in code books when doing it, you're probably around one and a half inches wide. Of, I mean, you have like your So you, you did your weld, and they immediately discard these half inch ends, and then they go in and they'll take like from here, they'll take a one and a half inch piece, they'll take another one and a half inch piece, and then, so they take four of these one and a half inch pieces, right? And so one of them is your, your face bend, your root bend, face bend and root bend and so wow you guys can't even see that can you let's see here All right, so again like they discard these outside pieces of your weld and then they they take an inch and a half piece out here one here one here one here and then you have your face, root bend, root bend, face bend, root bend. So, what if you have too thick a material? This is when they're, uh, they're finding the eraser. So if you're on thicker material, then you'll end up doing like a side bend. So if you're Let's see here. So say this is your weld. Uh, and you know. And whatever. So they take a. Uh, like if this is greater than 3 8 inch thick you'll have this option and even on 3 8 you normally have the option of doing four side bends rather than 
uh, your two face and two root. So in your weld, they are instead, I mean, they still discard these ends, but instead of taking a one and a half inch wide piece, they're just, they're cutting three eighths pieces out of it. So, and then they polish it up and they bend it sideways. But that's the simple reason of why I want to do something like this, just to show some more things like that. And uh, the overall idea or scheme here is, again, since I, you only have maximum about one and a half inches wide, uh, just so that I can put this on my shop press without any complications so the bottom die can go on there. I'm going to make the inside pieces three inches and then from there you have to have a space in the middle if you're doing uh, for and they've got different dimensions for um, Never mind this drawing that's completely out of scale, but they've got different dimensions for the yield strength of steel that you're using. So for 50 KSI yield and under, which is pretty much everything that I'm going to do, I mean, <laughs> it's a two and three eighths and then one and a half inch uh, round dies. So these ones being, uh, so two and three eighths inch in between them and then You'll have these outside pieces that, and this is, Jody just used some more round stock. So I was like, hey, I got enough round stock sitting around. It was kind of here for intentions of machine, but whatever, I got it. Jody went all the way out past the end here on his and did a weld all around here. I think... What I'm going to do is leave these ends like this so that I can just put a pretty pretty beefy fillet in here along with this seal weld. So this fillet will be retaining the majority of the strength and as it's being pressed in, it'll be pressed apart and that'll all be in tension. So it'll, be, it'll have pretty much a full strength connection on the fillet. But uh, So we're going to do that and then we'll have a, a top die this that's pushing down through this and bending the material across these dies so um, somehow or another on the outside I want to have this thing spring actuated so that the when I relieve the pressure from the hydraulics that the springs will bring the die back up and that way I don't have to physically just pick it up and put another one in but or is that's the plan. So I'm gonna cut some material. Like I say I need uh, I'm gonna go with three three inch pieces. Well, two of them will be three inch. One of them will be just under three inch, so that I have the clearance here. And uh, so I whatever you want to say. In fact, I'll go a quarter inch under. So so two of them will be three inches. One will be two and three quarters of an inch and then since I need two and three eighths here and then the uh, three quarters plus three quarters so a half so one and a half inch here to get this uh, top dimension uh, it's gonna be just you know one and a half plus two and three eighths is three and seven eighths That's where I'm gonna go with it. So I'm gonna get those pieces cut up and then we'll try and mash it all together. 